Mr. Bensian Bernstein grew up in London, England. In 1961, while studying at 770, he had a private audience with the Rebbe. I spoke to a Mashpia who, you know, um, just generally to, you know, to what, uh, what, should, what should I ask uh, in the readers? And it's, uh, he suggested something which uh, fits in very well with uh, my personality. That, um, it's how, you know, ask the Rebbe how how is it possible to be a simcha? You know, uh, so why does it fit in with my personality? Because, uh, well, let's see what, what they said about that. So I did ask that. I said, how is it possible to be a simcha always? They ever said that um, you should know that the, the shama of the Yid is a chedekel kam in al mamish. So in the, that being so, how is it possible not to be a simcha? In other words, it turned around completely. And then he said, you, because you are, and in particular because you are by nature a more shrown, you know, a melancholy type of person, <laughs> um, you have to bear this in mind uh, at all times, uh, to, uh, to be for Simcha and for that reason. That was basically what the other said, but particularly those were those words, how can you not be for Simcha in, in, in realizing that uh, the, the Shom is okay, that could come in my mamish. And so after that, by Koshal Bacha, over the years, the Rebbe would say, and what is mit simcha? You know, so I'd have to jump and sing. <laughs> it was, you know, the didn't forget that. I didn't forget anything, but uh, that particular, you know, when I was, uh, it was, it was after I left uh, um, it was a few years before I was able to get back, and uh, by the, 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 the um, by Koshal Pachel, it must have been Shuvah's time, and they immediately said, what is it, Simcha? You know, I had just gone past in my usual quiet way, but uh, never didn't forget.